Alright, hello. Welcome to the 3,000 subscribe special. And uh, my goodness, we are quite a bit over 3,000 already. So thank you so much for 3,000 subscribers. I think we hit 2,000 like five days ago. We've hit 3,000 subscribers incredibly quickly. And um, I said I'm going to read some comments, so uh, let's do that. First of all, how many comments did I get? 184. 184 comments. <laughs> I don't think we're going to get to all of them. Um, definitely not. Hold on, let's sort by... Question. Uh, for how much you've been playing this game, I was 9 years old when I first got Garden Warfare 1, and it has been one of my favourite games since then. For sure one of the games that got me through my childhood. So... I've been playing Garden Warfare 1 near enough since launch. I've gotten most of the Plants vs Zombies games from launch. I'm a very committed fan of the series, even when I was a little boy just playing the first game on an iPad. So yeah, I mean, the first time I played a Plants vs Zombies game was on an iPad. So I wasn't, like, right in at the launch of the game. Because I know the mobile game came out, or well, the mobile port came out maybe a year after the other version did, or the original version. So I didn't jump in immediately. Garden Warfare, I think I bought on launch. Same with Garden Warfare 2 as well, so. What is your opinion on rarely used variants? I think that most variants in the game are good. It just depends on who you give them to. Like, I think it's balanced in such a way that people can have that widely varying opinion on certain characters. Like, people think Cosmic Friends is awful when he's really good. <laughs> right, here we go. Uh, congrats on 3K. Thank you very much. Question. If you had to take one aspect from BFN and put it in the next shooter, what would it be and why? Um, any aspect. I think the single player. The uh, single player component of the game. I think I would take that and put it in the next shooter. Despite my opinions on the game overall, I think the single player is very well done. But I think they should limit to one region. I mean, if we're talking about strictly taking a thing and putting in BFN like one for one, I would say one of the single player areas. I think it because it's it's so well done in that there's so much content to do. There's like sort of main mission that aren't you just walking around the backyard because because the Garden Warfare 2 single player was basically just that. You going to a different part of the backyard to do a thing. You'd very rarely go somewhere unique and do something unique. Whereas the BFN campaign, I feel like every mission had you doing something that you can't do in another part of the game, if you know what I mean. And the boss fights at the end, it was so good. Especially Blight Cap. Amazing boss fight, especially for a Plants vs Zombies game. Also, what's your opinion on the Switch version of the game in comparison to the other version? Definitely the definitive version, absolutely. If you're gonna get BFN, get it on Switch. I think mainly because there aren't any microtransactions, so if you want the costumes or just want to collect the costumes, the Switch version is probably better for that. If there is one thing that you would be able to change from BFN, what would it be? I think what I would do is I would merge all of the single player locations into one area, so they all become interconnected. I think that's what I would do. Long convoluted question inbound. Alright, come on in. If any of the PvZ shooter games were to regain support, which one would you prefer? Or would you rather an entirely new game? This is a very tricky question. It's a good question, because on one hand, God of Warfare 2 is very good. It's a good foundation, and all I'd really want in a sequel would be to have that game again, but with more variants, different maps. So then there's an argument to suggest that you just update Garden Warfare 2. But I think the more you add, like game modes wise, the more fractured the player base gets. So if they were to add just more variants and more maps, I think I would like that. But at the same time, what BFN tried to do, in the sense that it tried to be something different, I wouldn't hate that approach of trying a different kind of third person shooter. I don't think I would necessarily want a Garden Warfare 3. After thinking about it, I think another spin-off type game like BFN would be a good idea. If they gave BFN another go, but made it more unique, but strayed further away from Garden Warfare. Because I think the main thing that lets BFN down is that they're like, you know, we have this this game. Let's try and make it into something else while trying to retain a lot of the elements from this old game. Like, the new variants in BFN, like, some of the best characters to play. And, like, the single player regions and things like that, good. But I think it's because they try to mix Garden Warfare with this sort of... I, I compare it to Overwatch because there are a lot of similarities. They tried to mash them together. You know, it made the comparisons to Garden Warfare 2 
a lot easier. And I think if they just made it more unique and st like steered in a completely different direction. You know that fantasy RPG game they showed off, or well, not showed off, but um, it was a prototype they had like a year ago or something. Make that into a third person shooter where you've got like fantasy themed plants and zombies. There's my answer, my convoluted answer. More convoluted than the question was. That was, that was a pretty good question, it wasn't convoluted. Question, how do you feel that you've single-handedly populated Garden Warfare to a point that hasn't been seen since 2017? Is that true? I'm gonna, I don't think that's true, I'm gonna be honest. I think uh, a certain other YouTuber in this space has done a much better job of doing that than me. I need to start powering through these. Uh, do you plan on ranking each class slash variants for Garden Warfare 2? Yes, once I've gotten to max rank, I plan on doing a tier list of my opinion on the entire cast of characters. What is your favourite legendary hat in Garden Warfare 2? Also, love your vids, keep up the good work. Thank you very much. Um, favourite legendary hat? Um, uh, I don't know, I think most legendary hats are kind of annoying, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> um, I don't know, Batatronic's cool. Have you already encountered people targeting you in-game, or have you just been spared? Um, I have encountered people targeting me. It's not been super common, it's only happened once or twice. And the first time it happened, it wasn't people going after me because they've seen my YouTube channel, it's just, it's just them. <laughs> it's just how they play the game at this point, because I, I played with them, like, a couple of years ago and they're the exact same. I think you probably know who I'm on about, but, um, yeah, there's been other people seen that have a YouTube channel and gone after me. It's not super rampant. Like, it doesn't happen that often, but it does happen. Uh, what kind of editing software do you use? Uh, Premiere Pro and After Effects. Once you reach max rank in Garden Warfare 2, what do you think will be your main game? Um, I really don't know. Uh, not sure. I guess, guess it just really depends on what sticks. I'm gonna start playing different things every now and then and see what sticks, because I I, I don't know. I don't think there's a game out currently that I could see myself playing for an extended period of time. I.e. a couple of years, so I, I don't know. Will you ever play any other game that is not PvZ? Yes. Um, absolutely plan on playing different games. Um, gonna be uploading an Arceus video when it comes out on Friday. So I'm gonna be trying different things, sort of every now and then. If all the Garden Warfare based games shut down, where would you take the YouTube channel? And why would you go there? Um, I think if it happened overnight and I had to make a snap decision on what to go on to, I think I'd probably pick something like Fall Guys, because I've been very into that recently. When PVZ3 comes out, will you be playing it on the channel? Yes, absolutely. Um, quite excited for that game, actually. It looks good, it looks fresh. It's a fresh take on the Tower Defense Plants vs Zombies games. And um, yeah, I'm a little bit hyped for it actually. Are you going to stop PVZ content after the Chomper grind? No, not after the Chomper grind. I'm going all the way to max rank, going all the way to the top, <laughs> doing every last character. And even beyond that, I'll still play the game in some capacity. How do you keep consistent with your uploads? I can't do it for the life of me. Um, uh, I think it mainly just comes down to the fact that I really enjoy doing it. So it doesn't feel like a chore and I'm raring to do it some days. And I think a good trick is to not stop, I guess. <laughs> One thing I found is like, if you give yourself a day off, you'll be like, maybe two days. It's like, give yourself an inch, you'll take a mile. So just if you're thinking about having a day off, stop. <laughs> At least within reason, right? Don't don't stress yourself out. But like, you know, if you give yourself an inch, you'll take a mile. Uh, maybe that's really dumb advice and I shouldn't say that, but you know, it's what's getting me through. Question, how long have you been doing YouTube? Like overall, since I was incredibly small, I think I would say I've been doing it for a good 10 years since I was a wee lad. But this channel specifically has been going for three months. And then my file Hyperion channel has been going for like three years. So stop disrespecting the goop kills. <laughs> like they happen too often now, okay? It's hard to get excited for something that is now just normal. When are we going to play Smash? Well, first of all, I need a copy of the game. Second of all, I need adequate time to actually learn how to play the game. And, uh, yeah, there we go, that's, that's when. I can't promise a time frame. <laughs> um, what are your thoughts on Soulsborne series? Um, well, like Dark Souls and things like that? Um, gonna be honest, not really played them that much. I have played Dark Souls 1. I'm like, I don't know, 12 hours into that. I just need to find the motivation to keep playing. <laughs> I think they're good games, and I'm certainly enjoying Dark Souls, but definitely a sort of game I need to motivate myself to keep at. 
Uh, what do you think about The Last of Us Part 2? I have not played Last of Us Part 2. I've not even played Part 1 for that matter. I've been an Xbox boy for basically my entire life. I haven't played any of them PlayStation exclusives. So, um, I haven't played it. Are you really 19 years old? Makes it sound like a, a conspiracy theory on the internet. Hey, look, I'll let that gestate. See what's happening. What YouTubers you watch? Um, so, YouTubers I like watching, Relax Relax. I think Relax Relax in particular has been quite a large inspiration to me personally when making content. So, I love re-watching his videos. I also like me some Scott the Woz, uh, Ant Dude, Completionists. That's sort of the area of the internet that I like to hang out. But, uh, occasionally, well not occasionally, I do it quite frequently, I like watching Mr. Sunday Movies, uh, I like me a bit of Weekly Planet podcast. Uh, that's about it really. I sort of just hang around in sort of the Nintendo Tube sort of section of YouTube. <laughs> Pea shooter is hot, no one can convince me otherwise. Well, I'm mean, here, look. I ain't gonna judge, right? I ain't gonna kink shame. You know, different strokes for different folks is, is what they say. Or something. Uh, I wanted to ask you some tips about YouTube and some advice if I want to start a new YouTube channel. Um, I think the best advice I can give really is just enjoy making YouTube videos. 9 out of 10 people who start a YouTube channel don't tend to get anywhere. A lot of finding an audience is just luck. You know, keeping your fingers crossed that people will stumble across your content. Like you could make the best video on the planet. Like the, the, well, the best edited, beautiful script or a beautiful set of gameplay. You know, you just get in all them headshots and it's edited amazingly. You pick the perfect piece of music and then no one finds it. Yeah, just enjoy what you're doing, I think, is the main tip I can give and then keep your fingers crossed. We'll end off with a nice one. How's your day? Or just, how's life? I mean, my day is going good so, so far. It's uh, quite an early start to the day, and I'm filming this quite early. But yeah, it's been good. It's, it's been good. decent weather out. And uh, life in general, life is just pretty good, you know. I've been quite content with where I'm at recently. I've just sort of... It's been, a, it's been good vibes all around, I think. All right, so uh, that's all the questions and comments I'm going to read. I did get close to 200 comments, so I do apologize if I didn't include yours in the video. Um, so, but yeah, thank you so much for all of the comments. Thank you so much for 3,000 subscribers, and uh, I'll see you later on today for some Twilight Chomper goodness. All right, see ya.